All right, guys, a lot of people don't understand the difference in a piece of extruded metal and just sheet metal that happens to be placed in a break and broken into a piece of bracing uh, that a lot of our competitors use. When we tell you that we use extruded metal, I'll give you an example. This piece of channel right here that goes across the back of just about every Gator Tracks boat in one way, shape, or form or the other is a piece of extruded channel. It comes from the mill. It's a piece of channel that looks just like this. You can notice that it has beveled corners on the inside for support and it's a quarter of an inch thick. It's a serious piece of metal. We buy these 25 feet long and they come just like this. This is a piece of 3 inch, we get them at 4 inch, and it's a high dollar piece of aluminum. What a lot of our competitors use in lieu of this, they'll take a piece of sheet metal, scrap off the floor and break it. Put it in a break and they'll break it. Now I want you to look at the difference and the thickness of this piece that Gator Tracks uses and this piece that many of our competitors use. This is a piece of extruded metal. This is garbage. All right, I'm just going to show you this piece of aluminum is uh, it's flat. Not very much wobble to it at all. And that's what it looks like. Now you can see, you can't see it on the video, but if you put the camera down on the ground, you can see air underneath this thing. It's bent. So that's ruined. This is a piece of extruded channel. I can see a little scuff mark right there where the hammer touched it. But other than that, it's fine. Guys, I just want to show you the difference in a couple more pieces of extruded metal. On the bottom of most boats, you see crimps in the hull. And a lot of people think they're keels. They're not keels. They're structural crimps. They take a piece of flat aluminum, and they run a crimp in it, just like this. You've seen them. And any flat boat you've ever seen has that sticking down out of the bottom of the hull, just like that. And that's just for, to make that piece of flat material um, a little stronger by putting a, a crimp in it. This costs nothing to put it in a machine and crimp it. It's very cheap it's, and it's pretty effective for how they do it, but it's nowhere close to being as strong as the way that we do our crimps. This is what the bottom of your boat looks like with the gator tracks. It's smooth with no crimps sticking down, digging into the mud or getting hung on logs or anything like that. And then we put a piece of one by two rectangular tubing in there that's eighth of an inch thick welded to that piece of aluminum. So it's much stronger than the other piece of uh, aluminum. Same thickness, 125 thickness is that. That's got a crimp in it that cost the boat manufacturer nothing to install. And this has got a piece of uh, a 1 by 2 rectangular tubing in here, eighth of an inch thick, that is quite expensive. So not only is it more costly to do uh, that way, but it's a lot more labor intensive with all the stitch wells that go one on each side all the way down the entire length of the hull. So um, that's one reason that some manufacturers don't use that method, but that is exactly why we use it for the strength and integrity of the hull. I'm going to show you a little bit of the differences in, in how those react to the stress. Guys, I just want to show you another example of an extruded piece of metal. This is just an extruded piece of aluminum angle. As you can see, the thickness on the angle with the beveled supported corner right there, that angle was purchased like that, 24 feet long, 25 feet long, something like that. It came just like that. This is a piece of aluminum angle that we made off of scrap metal on the floor. Again, this is the difference and those two pieces of material. It's a big difference, not only in strength, but also in cost. All right, another piece of metal, extruded metal that we use in our boats for bracing that go on top of the floor across and connect the hull together is this two by two square tubing, which is a 3 16 of an inch thick. 
and a stout piece of material. I really wish you guys could feel how heavy this is. This is a really thick, uh, stout piece of metal here. Again, it's an extruded piece of metal. We buy it like that. It comes 21, 25 feet long when we get it, and, and that's what we use as a brace that goes across the top of our floor. What a lot of our competitors do, again, is they take sheet metal, put it in a break, and make what they call hat section out of it. You might have seen this going across the floor of your aluminum bateau, where it goes across the floor and up both sides. That's what it's made out of. And look at the difference. Big difference. Big difference in performance, big difference in cost. I'm going to start off by showing you how that this is flat right now. This piece is flat. You can see the dent in it right here from the hammer. You can see the dent in the bow in just that one leg. Hand metal. The big difference in what you buy, a lot of the stuff you can't see it when you're paying for it in a Gator Tracks boat, but trust me when I tell you, it's there. <laughs> 